Alright, I'm gonna leave him not anyway. Cute. Oh, hey there, Zabu. I'll go you pickles. Okay, please leave him. Alright. <laughs> everyone so today we are going to Lord Darnley's toe monument which is pretty cool so we're on the way now having a little lovely uh, midday walk I think it is don't really know what time it is um, but before we do that hopefully you've liked everything so far the channel is still in progress of changing so this is the first official video that's coming out of the new style of channel I'm trying to change the idea of what the videos are and everything else so without further ado just in case you didn't know already here is a brief lesson in what the difference is between toes hope you enjoy it I'll catch you in a minute this is a toe actually it's toes this is a paw this is a toad this is a drawing of a toe. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to the first official video of the new Still in Progress channel. So where am I today? As you can probably tell in the title, I am part of Lord Darnley's uh, Toe Monument, which is a very interesting little folk story. So bear with me whilst I explain it to you. Plane going overhead. And going. So let's paint the picture. So in the 1800s, uh, there was uh, Edward Bly, who was the, I want to say he was the fifth Earl of Darnley. And he was literally around this area and he was explaining to his uh, workmen about the idea of how to chop and doing it the correct way, obviously. Why wouldn't you? Um, so he got the axe, he's chopping away and he accidentally chopped one of his toes off. And you think to yourself, okay, that's pretty bad, like, can it get any worse? Well, unfortunately, it sort of did, and it got um, locked jaw. And he died very soon after. And then the Lady Darnley, his wife, um, she decided to, about three weeks afterwards, erect a lovely monument dedicated to his toe, which is, ta-da, what we are here to look at. It's not really much of it, but I thought, you know, let's start the, start the, the channel off with a sort of video that you know it's quite a nice little folk story I suppose and yeah this is it so here we are today um, as I sort of said weather wise it's very muggy today it's a little bit dark I'm trying a few different things at the moment to try and see what you like so hopefully you like the random intro um, it's gonna be a lot it's probably gonna take a couple of months to try figure out what works and what doesn't but feel free to comment and here we are. This is the most important thing. Obviously, we're doing the historical side of things, so let's have a look. So here we are. So as you can see, we are... Here's the monument itself. I apologise, my camera sort of tends to go out of focus a little bit. It's a huge plinth on which the actual monument itself probably would have stood on. Unfortunately, vandalism sort of uh, taken its sort of toll on it, unfortunately, but you know, what can you do? And but this is the most interesting bit, I think, personally, is when you walk down here, you can see some amazing stone masonry. Now, oh, that was my knees, by the way, everybody. So, as you can see, there is a crest and there is some amazing writing which you can't make out, but oh. If you have a look with the eye of faith, you can sort of see roughly what that is. In fact, yeah, if I stand back a little bit, you get a bit of projection of what that looks like. But what's really cool, especially on this, the plinth bit itself, look. It's around there as well. Beautiful, isn't it? And then around here as well. 
See, that's the coat of arms. Oh. How amazing is that? And then if we go around here, there you go. It's a small cup. You can guys can check out what this is, is left. It's a bit of stone paving there. Stone paving, what am I talking about? Lovely bit of litter that people have kindly put in the tree. There you go. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Very tiny video to try and justice. Very tiny video for everybody, but uh, hopefully you really liked it. Um, surrounded by eight yew trees, actually, weirdly enough, that are behind me. How cool is that? They're not all behind me. Yeah, it's really eerie today. Sort of came out and had a bit of hay fever, which has kind of knocked me for six this morning. As if you are a hay fever sufferer, you can understand that obviously I like going outdoors and obviously it's probably the worst example of doing stuff, I think, when you've got hay fever. So I've been a bit like, blah, today. But here we are. We've made it. That's the most important thing. Beautiful bit of Kent folk history for everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for subscribing. Let's keep spreading the word. Uh... I'm always going to leave the comments open for you to discuss if there's any specific places you would like me to go to, etc, etc. But please understand that now the channel is going to be slightly changing. Um, it's not just going to be about historical stuff and the music stuff, which is what it was originally. We're going to have a bit of fun with it. We're going to do a few different things, see how it all goes. Um, the idea is that we want to, like I said, try and do it as just have a revamp. Um, that was the whole purpose of really sort of taking some time away really to try and get an idea of what's working and what's not anyway i'm in the lovely cobham woods where i'm going to do what i was going to do originally which is going to go for a lovely walk um so i'm going to pretty much walk all the way to strood and then walk all the way back and yes i am packing squash and oh dear please do not crate me for this and energy drink as well because of my hay fever i don't care what anybody says when you get AV, you need that bit of sugar. So, I've ranted on long enough. Here we are. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Wasn't much there. But hey, story great nonetheless. Take care, everybody. And thanks, as always, for watching. Smiley face, which is normally what would be at the end. Take care, everyone.